Hi everyone. In this video, I want to show how we can extend on a composition um, using Opus Modus. So to do this, um, what I did is I created a very basic sort of techno song MIDI file just in Logic. And then I saved that to my MIDI folder, um, which is in the Opus Modus folder. You can see we have a lot of different examples here. And then um, this has multiple tracks. So I'm importing this using the MIDI to score function. And then I'm collecting the score instruments. So instrument two, instrument three, instrument four, etc. Now, if I evaluate this, we get to see the actual um, notes that were in that MIDI file, right? For each one of them. And we can see some, some uh, strange looking notation here. This is when you have multiple voices overlapping. Um, so it will, it will look like this. To get rid of that, we can use the dissolve voices function. And that way we get a regular opus modus looking kind of list. Right, so this is where I started. And um, some of these instruments I use just as is. So I basically um, combine them together later in my dev score um, to basically not change them. But I wanted to I wanted to add some things as well. So to do this, um, what I'm doing is um, I'm taking this alchemy, um, this alchemy instrument right here, which has the chords of my composition. And the chords are just are just two different chords. Um, we're doing techno, so uh, nothing fancy there. Um, and then I'm um, creating a time signature based on on that length of that MIDI file. Now then, after that, there's basically two different things I want to show you, um, two different functions. The first one is rhythm series, which is a function that allows you to very easily create complex rhythms um, by just uh, specifying the, um, the number of, of lists that you want to uh, generate, the number of nodes in that, and the span or the total duration. So if I evaluate this, you can see that this is our rhythm. We can actually listen to it as well. And every time I evaluate, it will be a little bit different because we have no seed value set right here. But then I'm merging these voices with the merge voices function, and then it sounds like this. And these kind of rhythms are um, pretty tricky to make in a MIDI editor or piano roll because you constantly have to change the division um, or the grid basically in the piano roll and it can be very messy. But with Opus Modus it's very easy and we can quickly experiment with it, uh, get some different sounds and then all combine them together. So um, my original song was kind of boring, but you'll hear later on that this, this rhythm uh, really makes the whole piece sort of come together. So we have that, and then um, we basically set that to this poly1 variable, which we're going to later use to output the MIDI again. And then another very similar thing is happening here, but this time, instead of rhythm series, I use the polygon rhythm, which I talked about before. This is based on the concept of a circle where we um, where we create a polygon, I guess, inside. Um, and what we can do here is we, we first we say how many um, beats we want, how many points we want, um, the number of sides of our polygon, basically. So for the first one here, that's three. Then we say the number of total points in the circle, so eight, for example. And then we say uh, where we want it to start. So if I have all of these, um, I can um, evaluate them separately and then I combine them together and we look at them. We get we get another interesting rhythm there. Um, we can actually look at this um, using the circle uh, rhythm plot if I evaluate that. Um, let's evaluate it like this. We can see that this is our polygon and we see the different lines for the different instruments in there. Now, this is all the same because I'm just using these fixed notes here. So this is where that import comes in handy because now what I can do is based on the chords that were found in this um, MIDI track, Alchemy 2, um, I can map my uh, polygon rhythm here to the voice that I already, uh, to the chords that I already had in my composition. Um, and this is really the powerful thing with, with Opus Modus. Like we work on the rhythms first and then later we don't have to worry about anything and later we just um, set it to the chords and it will follow harmonically what we already have. So if I evaluate this as well. So 
So you can hear it changes chords there um, based on this, this MIDI file here. So then um, we clean this up a little bit. We uh, create some pauses to not play at uh, specific sections of the arrangement. And then we get into our modulation and envelopes. This is another thing I wanted to show because um, with electronic music, we typically use kind of a lot of modulation to make it sound less still and less repetitive. And especially with the genre like techno, it's um, we want to create some movement, otherwise it's going to be very static. Now, we can do this very easily using um, two new functions actually, GenRamp, which generates all sorts of uh, ramp files. They could look like this. Um, so these are basically the envelopes that we're going to use. Um, then we have the scale ramp, which um, scales the whole shape that you create within a given set of bars, for example. So in this case, it's going to be over 32 bars here. It's going to be over eight bars, etc. So we can look at any of these um, to see what they are uh, looking like in a shape. So here we have a just a simple line down. Um, we have some noise, a random kind of shape here. Um, this one is a little bit more complex. Um, this one is fairly simple. This one is a little bit more complex as some round curve and then a little bit of a sharper one. Um, so all of this will create parameters or control parameters rather in our composition. And here we can actually see in Logic the MIDI that we have recorded and we can see those same shapes being reflected here. So from here on out you could uh, convert. You could now change them basically and um, you could edit them further if you want but the, the, the real power with Opus Modus is that we don't have to and we pretty much never have to draw automation anymore. Um, so that's what we're doing and then finally we set this to our gen controller which is going to actually send that out. We can still give a range so that um, in the case of MIDI typically you want it to be between 0 and 127 but sometimes I might scale it differently. And then we just send that out and we can record everything in one go. So let's do that and pay um, special attention to the polyrhythms in the track because this has all been created by Opus Modus. So we're going to remove everything right here, press record, and then I'll play the full composition. So um, this will be the end of me talking and I will just fade out the video and I hope to see you in the, in the next video.